Audio check. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. You're watching the JV contest between the Fort Collins Lampkins and the Mountain, Ridge, Mountain Range Mustangs. The senior night here at the Lamb Shack. Turn my background noise up. Senior night here at the Lamb Shack. Festivities will get going. There's about three minutes and 40 seconds left in the JV game. The Lampkins find themselves up 54-38. With a chance for more right here. Good pump bank. And scores. The JV Lampkins are in firm control of this contest. We'll get things rolling here in just a little bit, but at the end of the JV contest, there'll be a senior night presentation for the, let me see how many seniors, one, two, for the five seniors on the Lampkin roster to walk across the court with their parents and siblings and whoever else might be supporting the young man. My camera's off because I'm distracted setting up. Decent hook shot by that kid. You see on the screen, the mountain range comes in 7 and 10. Lampkins come in 15 and 2, coming off a huge win over number 2, Fossil Ridge. Let's see if the Lampkins can keep the pressure going. Just about two minutes left in the contest. Or in the game. I call it a contest sometimes. Call it the game sometimes. Call it what you will. It's a basketball game. And since I'm the parent of a senior in high school who is also on the basketball team, I have to go down to midcourt to get ready for parents' night, so I'm just going to pan to midcourt. Sorry for the JV guys who may want to watch the stream, but I don't have another cameraman up here tonight, so talk to you guys soon.
All right, that was exciting stuff. Seniors are recognized. It's where the parents and the siblings. Not sure how much you could hear on the cast there, but five seniors tonight for the Lampkins are number one, Nikki McGuire. He's got a pretty good dad, I guess. In my own opinion, of course. Number three, Alex Guzman. Number 33, Luke Wagstaff. Number five, Andrew Corner. And number 42, Jamar Mitchell. All five seniors recognized before the game for their accomplishments and contributions to the program over the last four years. When asked for a favorite memory, I'd say three quarters of them said it was beaten fossils the other night. Which I'm glad we beat them too. Because they've ruined my live stream. Not that I'm bitter, but I'm bitter. Now that was a full crowd, full capacity crowd. They even had kids, parents and spectators in the auxiliary gym where they were streaming the game on a big TV. Which then sucked away all the bandwidth of the whole building to cover their broadcast and then we couldn't cover, we couldn't get anything going for us. So just a little bit upset about that, but uh, time will heal all wounds. I'll be over it soon, allegedly. So we got about 13, 14 minutes to game time, and then we'll do introductions, national anthem, and then we'll be ready for some basketball. Preview the game here in just a few.
And we have the world's loudest band showing up. So that could make things interesting. Looks like they may have a full ensemble tonight, so they're going to be extra loud. Good thing you're at home watching this instead of sitting right next to these guys. They're good, but man, they are loud. Good evening once again and welcome to the Lampkin Sports Network. Appreciate you tuning in to the nice contest between your Fort Collins Lampkins and the Mountain Range Mustangs. 
Mountain Range comes into the game 7 and 10. And the Lampkins come in on an absolute terror. 15 and 2 winners of 9 straight. Including a win over on Tuesday over then number 2 Fossil Ridge. Went to their building and Back and ready. And let's hope that it's just my phone that's messing up and not the live stream, but we will monitor it as we go. We're ready for some basketball. Looks like we're better on the stream, so. If you're out there and watching the live chat or watching it live, Hit me in the live chat if you can and tell me how the stream's working, if you don't mind. Two points, Joe Cunningham. To give him the go. Steal by Jamar. Luke Wax up with two points. Chase King locks him up. Pounding him on defense. Jamar almost with the steal. Gets it down low. Wide open underneath. Blocked. Up quickly ahead to Jamar. He's going to take it himself. Looks like he got fouled, but no call. Long range goes the other way. Long three-point shot attempt is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Jace King. I'll let this score here in just a second. Passed down to Luke Wagstaff. He's going to do it. He got held. Lampkin's ball underneath. Jamar wide open for the two point shot. It's good. Doesn't get much easier than that. Twenty-one for Mount Range. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Cunningham. One the other ways, Luke Wax having gives up quickly to Andrew. Gets it back to Luke. The layup, no good. Rebound, Mount Range. Luke hits a carom like a out of frustration. Come on, Luke, you can do better than that. Show some class. Good foul on Cunningham. I don't know, they called it on Mountain Ranger. I don't know what they did, but must have been a legal screen or something. 6.15 left in the first quarter. Andrew with the drive. The move. No good. Rebound, Joe Cunningham. Up and in. Two points, Joe Cunningham. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. The double team is tied up. They're going to give the call a jump ball or a foul. I'm not sure what they're going to call. It'll be a jump ball. It's going to stay right here. Line change for the mountain range of Mustangs. Got five in. Five brand new kids in. Two, in, two minutes and ten minutes. Two, uh, two minutes and ten seconds into the contest. They sit all five starters. Do the coach is upset or that's how they normally do things. Number two, Moses West is in the ball game. Passes 24. Reset it. They're waiting patiently. The dribble drive, nothing there. Jamar cuts them off. Looking for a pick and roll, nothing there. West is in the basket area, nothing. Long pass out to Andrew. No, it's Jace King. He takes it, gets hammered. It's a drone. He's going to go in line for two shots. So Jace King to line for two. 518 left in the first quarter. 8 nothing Lampkins. First free throw attempt by Mr. King is good.
the Zohan Swish. Silky smooth, Jace King. The second one rattles home. 10 0 Lampkins. Good way to start the game. If you thought we were getting let down from the fossil game, that's been answered. West brings it up. Stolen by Cottingham. This could be showtime. Oh, he misses the dunk. Cottingham can really get up, but he lost track of the ball. And it should be Dr. Hook time. They got to yank him for that one. You miss a dunk, you get yanked. I think that's the rule. Timeout on the floor. 30 second timeout. Mountain range. 450 left in the first quarter. So Cunningham tries to go up and slam, bam, jam, and. Duh! Didn't get it. That's all right. It's the effort that counts. Like I said, he's a high jumper. Get up the ground. He's up there plenty. Had plenty of distance to jump by enough to slam that home. He just lost control of the ball. And it happens. Cunningham doesn't get the hook. He stays in the game. That must be old school rules. You miss the dunk, you get, you get benched. But not, not today's ball game. West brings it up. UCLA cut goes to the rim. Nothing there. Shot on the way is going to be airballed. Stolen by Wagstaff. Number 11 is Quincy Helsel. He's Helsel. Tomorrow with the drive. Passes Luke. High low to Cunningham. Out the in the corner. Passes it to Wagstaff. He's going to drive. Bumped. Shot. No good. Rebound's going to go to mountain range. Carlos Chavez with the carom. And West sets up shop. Twenty-four banging around there. There's Lund, Landon Calabrese. He's a big looking kid. And three point shot away. Three points. Moses West. A little bit of pressure by the Mustangs is broken pretty easily, and there's a trip and foul in mountain range. It will be Lampkin ball on the side. Gets it into King. Sets up shop. Looking for Wagstaff. And another foul. This is going to be on Calabrese. Little touch foul here. Fourteen foul. First foul on Calabrese. Three thirty-three left in the first quarter. Andrew gets it to Cottingham. He dribble drives. Pops it up to Jace King. That's his spot. Jace King for three. That kid can shoot. Especially if he gets it on the wing like that. Nobody guarding him. West brings it in, throws it away. It's going to be Lampkin ball. Corner bringing it up. The Mustangs are in a man to man defense. Try to get the lob to Wagstaff. It's going to be, well, he controls it. He's in there, he gets fouled. It's going to be. Not sure they called that on. Let's take a look and see if I can read fingers. Ball on number 32, Preston Brunton. In 42, Jaden Hansen comes into the ball game for the Mustangs, along with number 22, Mateo Jordan. Quick pass to the corner for King is going to be three points. Didn't see him down there. The band was in the way. He snuck it in there. This is three. Three point shot attempt from the mountain range is going to be short. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. He's going to get the king. He's going to push. Weaving through the defense. Corner gets it on the Wagstaff. He's going to spin this guy. Double teamed. 
Powers it up. No good. Rebound. Gets his own rebound. Powers it up and is fouled. So 2.36 left in the first quarter. That is the sixth team foul for the Mustangs. Next team foul puts the Lampkins in the one and one, which could make for a free throw shooting contest for the Lampkins. Luke's first shot attempt is good. That's a good goal. Second free throw attempt goes as well. Shout out to Mike and Malabrady out there at Fort Collins watching the game. Thanks for letting me know the stream's working. I was kind of concerned about that. Appreciate the update. I'm gun shy after streaming problems all night on Tuesday night with good old Fossil Ridge, but that's typical for that school. Oh, Jace King is going to give the Mustangs the ball out of bounds underneath. Send the series of picks, gets it out to number one. Eric Dillette, who passes to West. Handoff, double team, dribbles out of it. West trying to take on Mitchell, nothing there. Luke goes to help out, double teamed. Hanson has the ball up top, the big load going up top. It's followed by Joe Cottingham. It's a big dude down there. They list him at six foot six. He's got to weigh somewhere near two fifty or two sixty. He's a big looking kid. First foul on Cottingham. Since Hanson's in line. First free throw attempt is good. And Mr. Hanson looks at the second free throw attempt. is going to be good as well. Big man, soft touch. A little bit of pressure. Gets to the wag staff. He's going to get it right back to Andrew. Or take it himself. And he does. Gives it Mr. King. Looks down for wag staff. Bodied up by the big man. Puts a couple moves on him. Gets it to tomorrow's wide open. <clears throat> Tipped and stolen by Mount Range. And going the other way. West thought about the three. Got bumped by Jamar. Thought about the three again, and it goes. So I got the score way off here. I'll get it updated here in just a second. Wax up with the drive. Takes it in. The crafty move. Two points. Dribble drive. The shot doesn't go. Hanson tips it right back to him. Three-point shot attempt is going to be good. This guy's on fire. 48 seconds left in the game, or in the first quarter. Quarter number one. Jamar Mitchell takes on the double team, takes a shot. No good. It's going to be rebounded, and it's going to be off. Jamar, and it will be mountain range ball. Checking into the game number 24. Landon Calabrese comes back in for Hanson to play center. West brings it up. 21 checks in the game. Julian Kane. Calabrese hands off. The pump pick. The shot is up and on the way, and it's going to be good for three. Mountain Range is finding the range from the way downtown. 19 seconds left in the first quarter. Four Collins usually holds their last shot here. They don't. King takes the shot. Jamar with the rebound. Tip. On range has to go the other way. Seven seconds. Five. Four. At the buzzer. So Mon range goes on a little bit of run at the end. Just when we thought that Four Collins wasn't going to let down, they do. Mon range hit some tough three-point shots. I'll have to score it as 20 to 16 after one. (laughs) 
So they always find themselves in a bit of a dog fight. So after one quarter, unofficial stats as Jace King with eight points, Luke Wagstaff with six, Joe Cunningham with two, and Jamar Mitchell with two. Or Joe, Joe Cunningham has four. Mountain range ball, or no, Fort Collins ball, start the second quarter. About the ball to King, he gets back to the corner. King takes it himself. Alex Guzman checks in the game. He's in for Cunningham. He's down to Jamar. He's going to look at a 10 foot shot. It's going to be up and swish. The mid range game is there for Jamar. The dribble drive. Corner three. No good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. Over to Alex. He's going to push it up a little bit. Gets it back to Jamar. He's got a full head of steam. He's going to take a 12-foot shot. Nothing but uh, it rolls around. It doesn't go in. Quickly the other way. Blow by. Tries to take on Luke. Under, up and under. He's not going to go. Rebound's going to go to Andrew. Quickly on the fast break. Gets a two on three on three. Gets it to Luke. Over to Alex in the corner. Back to Andrew. Takes it to dribble drive. Quickly passes to Luke for a nice, easy layup. Good team basketball. So Lamb can start out. Stop the run and I got an update. Pass is kicked. It's going to be mountain range ball. Six forty two till halftime. Six forty two. Mount range ball underneath this set a series of picks. Try to get somebody open to get it up top. The dribble drive. Pulls up from nineteen feet. It's gonna be no good. Rebound wax half outlets goes to the corner. He's gonna put Wax. Corner hands off to Jamar who gathers himself. Pump fakes up and in foul. Basket and the basket and the foul for Jamar Mitchell. Falls on number 11, Quincy Helsel. Cottingham takes back in the game for Boyd's half. Lampkins go up 10. Put Jamar on the line for one. Free throw is good. So Mountain Range finds himself down. They had a little bit of a spurt, but the Lampkins come out hot in the second half, second quarter, I mean. Starting out on a 7 0 run. Looking for the pick and the roll. Gets to Calabrese. He takes the shot. He's fouled. It's going to be on, I believe, Alex Guzman. Coach Stick doesn't like it. Alex is pleading that he had his hands up. They called the foul anyway. Calabrese to the line makes the first one. Six foot five junior. He's a decent sized kid. Second free throw attempt is up and on the way in. Good as well. Pass over the corner. He's going to dribble drive. Look for a spot. Takes the layup. Gets a block. Cunningham with the recovery. Foul. We go to line for two shots. Foul by Calabrese. That's going to be his second foul with 5.58 left in the half. So he may need to take a, take a seat for a minute. Cunningham's first free throw attempt is no good. They're going to let Calabrese stay in, let him ride with two fouls. Second 
Second free throw attempt by Cunningham is no good as well. Jamar tried to knock it out of his hand. There's no avail. Mountain Range quickly pushes. It has no numbers, but still gets the ball. Gets the bucket. Mateo Jordan with the nice move and finish. Even though he took on three or four Lampkins. Passing to Jamar. The layup. Good. 11th. I'll update the score in a second. It's going to be 29-20. 5.30 left in the quarter. The double team, it's off the of foot. Jamar dies, saves it. Alex may shoot from three, but he doesn't. Jamar may shoot from three. Somebody's going to shoot from three. Nope, it's going to be a dribble drive by Andrew who loses the handle. And we have a foul. Well, number 22, Mateo Jordan. Black Staff Jack's back in the game, and Mr. Guzman's going to take a seat. Andrew Corner to the line for two shots. Uh, no, I guess there's a one and one. He wasn't on. It must, they called it on the ground, my fault. Either way, he doesn't make the first end of the one and one, and Mountain Range goes the other way. He walked, drug his fifth foot, didn't get called. West Sutherland sells him down to the Calabrese looking for a cut. And off three point shot attempt is on the way. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to the corner. He's going to push, gets it to King. Dribbles behind his back, takes a 12 foot shot, maybe like 8 foot. No, no dice. Rebound's up to Helsel. West coming the other way, fancy dribbling. Helsel looked at a three point shot, sides against it. Walked. They don't call that a walk, I don't know what it is. And it's a travel, black and ball. 4.33 left in the first half. King makes the dribble drive. Puts a move on. Ends up to Jamar, who gets it over to Wagstaff. He's going to shoot the 25-footer. No good. The rebound's going to go to mountain range. And going the other way quickly. Collins got back, but there's a blow by move by West. Luke runs, goes to Luke. Andrew goes the other way. He's going to take it all the way himself. Two points, Andrew Corner. Nice drive, nice finish. Cunningham matches up with West. He gets it out to Preston Brunton. Tried to pass, get the stop. Stuff. Saved the corner. He's going to have a layup. Two points in the corner. Time out on the floor. So two quick buckets by Andrew Corner puts the Lampkins up by. As soon as I update it, 13 points. So 3:42 left in the first quarter, or first half of the play. Four Collins finds themselves with a 13 point lead, 33 to 20. Checking the foul situation. The Mustangs have 19 fouls. Next team foul put the put the Lampkins in a double bonus where they shoot two free throws for every foul. And at this time, Fort Collins Lampkins only have three team fouls, so they're not looking like they're going to get too bad of a pinch with fouls where they might get on range, might get on line for one and one. Wait for some Lampkins to come out and play some basketball. It's going to be mountain range ball going the other way. Fort Collins is going to do some nominal pressure. Just for show. They're usually just going to drop back into the man to man. Jason's going to lay off. He's going to do pick him up by three quarter court, but not really. He's not going to hound him too badly. Entry pass. Looking for the man down low. It's not there. It's a dribble drive. Corner with the good defense. Shot on the way is no good. He's going to be rebounded by Wagstaff. He's going to take it himself. The guards bailed out and looked at a ch chance to go himself. Gets it to Mars wide open. The high low works again. Wagstaff's a great passer from the top of the key. Two more points for Jamar, who then stuffs them, but they call the foul.
Let's get Coach Dick on the camera. He's going to lose his mind. Nicky McGuire checks in the game for Andrew Corner. So Andrew gets a breather, playing pretty solid. It's going to be mountain range ball. They must have called a jump ball on the stuff instead of a foul. Because they didn't put a foul up there for... Oh, they did call a foul. They just didn't put it up there. So Jamar picks up his first foul. Pass to King is going to be tipped. It's going to stay right here with the Lampkins. Cunningham will take it out. Trying to get down to Luke in the corner. They do. About about three. Takes the baseline. Double team. Powers it up. And no good rebound. It's don't rebound. Brings it too low, though. You can't bring that ball low, bro. Let the guards get down there. They fouled him and bailed him out. But don't bring that ball down like that, and you wouldn't have that problem. Easy for me to say, sitting 50 feet from the action, but I played a game of basketball once or twice. Either way, it's a good line for two shots. First shot on the way is going to be no good. Caden Elmore is going to check in for Jamar Mitchell. Give him a breather. Caden, the six foot five soft or junior. You can match Mr. Hansen over there with skeletal girth, of course. Second free throw attempt is good. Going the other way. This is the corner. Three-point shot attempt is good. Number two, Moses West with three points. And we have a whistle. Not sure what happened. Lampkin tried to double team, didn't work. A little bit of full court pressure. Coach Dick is asking for explanation. Not sure what happened. King brings it up. Gets to the counting game. He's going to look down low to Wagstaff. He's going to spin his guy. Nope. Gets it over to Jason in the corner. Three point shot attempt on the way is no good. Rebound to Wagstaff. Looking for a pass. Stolen. Quickly the other way, Cottingham got a fingernail on it, but didn't affect it much. Luke with the steal. It's the Nicky, he's going to push. Pass to the corner, back to Wagstaff, he's going to shoot the three-point shot from 20 feet. It was good, he rattles it home. Somehow I gave Mount Vista an extra point, so we'll see if they can score and even it out here. And I'll update Port Collins score. 39-22 is what it says on the board. I may have given credit for a three-pointer when it was two. Either way, it's going to be a foul on the inside. It's going to be on Jace King. 129 until halftime. King picks up his first foul. 15 foul. Went the line for... The Mustangs is Hanson. Get it out. No fall. He's supposed to give me his, give me a point here, bro, so I can even out the scoreboard. I'm just kidding. He has a soft touch for a big man, though. Second free throw attempt is off as well. It's going to be rebounded by Luke Wagstaff. He's going to bring it up himself, see if he can put the move on somebody. Does, takes it, gets over to Nicky in the corner. He's going to shoot a three-point shot. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Caden. Gets it to King, over to Nicky. Looks down low to Luke. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. No good as well. Rebound goes to mountain range. One minute left to tell halftime. One minute. Number one pulls up from deep. No good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. Get, oh, they're going to call it off of Wagstaff. It looked like over the back. Back in the game for the Lampkins is Luke, or Jamar Mitchell and Andrew Corner checking in for Luke and Jays. So they'll probably get a break until the halftime. Yeah, 
and turnover. He took the extra step before he dribbled. So it'll be four Collins ball. 56, 55 seconds till halftime. Andrew takes it himself. It's Nicky. He's looking down for Caden. Caden's looking for the shot, the bump. Gets it in the corner to Andrew. Drives baseline, nothing there. Brings it out, gets it over to Nicky. Cottingham took an extra step before he dribbled. So, 33 seconds still halftime. The stands are slowly filling up. Pretty decent crowd for a Friday night in Fort Collins. The trap. He's down to the big man. Goes to work on the double team. Caden gets him. They're going to call a foul on Caden. It looked like all ball from here. Either way, it's going to send Hanson to the line for two shots. With 17.6 seconds to tell half. First free throw attempt is on the way and good. Nicky needs a break, as does Caden. So now we're finally correct on the scoreboard. Second attempt is good as well. I'm guessing the Lampkins are going to get it in in Hotel's last shot. No hurry. Up by 15. 10 seconds. Wax up with the dribble drive. The spin. It's Andrew. He's going to shoot the three-point shot. And it's good. And there's the end of the first half. Andrew Corner for three. So your halftime score from the Lamb Jack is Fort Collins 42. Mount Range 24. Ten minute halftime, we're gonna update the stats and we'll be back in just a moment. Thanks for watching the Lampkin Sports Network. Appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in, even though I can't say it.
So just about five minutes before we tip off for the second half. Let's check the first half stats. Leading the way for the Lampkins is Luke Wagstaff, who has 12. Jamar Mitchell checks in with 11 points. Chase King has eight. Andrew Corner has seven. And Joe Cunningham has four. Mustangs put up a fight the first quarter, came in, were down big, and then they rallied back and got on a hot streak towards the end of the first quarter, they cut the deficit to four. At the end of the first quarter, is 20 to 16, Lampkins. Then the Lampkins came out hot the second, half, second quarter, blitz cracked them a little bit. Scoring 22 points in their own in the second quarter. And Mountain Ranch could only muster eight, so that's the biggest reason why we have a good size deficit of 18 points going into the second half. Left could have been pretty good in the second quarter in the last three games. Not sure how J.J. Baca got on the basketball court to warm up with the team, but he's working it out. Nice shot, J.J. Looking for some change and nobody will give it to him. This guy comes out. Gonna shoot some free throws. Look at this guy. Almost. He's not shy. He's a volume shooter. <coughs> and he's ushered off the court by a couple of Lampkin faithful. We'll get underway for the second half in about two and a half minutes. After the first quarter, the Mustangs had a little bit of confidence on their side. Thinking they could play with the Mighty Lampkins, but then that was quickly flushed out in the second quarter. First four minutes of this third quarter are going to be important. If the Lampkins can keep the pedal to the middle and get to the slides the lead, I think this game will be just about over. Eighteen point lead at halftime, they can start that to 26, 28 points in the first four minutes of the second half. I think the Mustangs may put up the white flag. But the Lampkins have a tendency to go to the soldier on the, second, the beginning of the second half and the team get a little bit of confidence. We'll see if that happens tonight. So the refs are back on the court. Both teams are back on the court. It's about time for some ball game. Should be about range ball to start the second half.
Typical starters for the Lampkins. King, Cottingham, corner, Wagstaff, and Mitchell. Quick foul is going to be on. It's going to be a charge on somebody. Legal screen, I'm guessing. See who they give that to. It's going to be Fort Collins ball, so it's obviously down mountain range. Didn't see it. It is on the other side of the court from where the ball was. Wags that gets in. This guy's right in the way of my camera. This is Andrew's going to shoot the three point shot attempt. No good. Rebound's going to go to mountain range. They're going to go the other way. Andrew's going to pick up a quick foul, sliding. He had her playing about 10 feet. Picked up a foul. I believe that's his second foul. Lampkins going on to man to man. Jordan tried to do an entry pass into Julian Kane. He wasn't looking, so it's a quick turnover by the most things. It'll be Lampkin ball. Full court pressure. Gets the corner back to King, and they're going to fall back. Number zero in there, Jacob Singa Chavez. Seninga Chavez. Tamara goes for the drive. Tangs doesn't get anything. Jordan's going to bring it up. He's got numbers. Over in the corner to Kane. He's going to shoot the three-point shot and nail it. Actually, that's number one, Eric Dillette. Quick three points by Mount Range. Tamara goes to the basket, gets fouled, and he's going to go to the line for two shots. In and out. So it looks like on the court for the Mustangs it's going to be zero. Suniga Chavez, number one, Dillette. Four makes the second shot. Number 11, Helsel. 21, Kane, and 42, Hanson. Proven gets to the big man. Cuts, cuts, cuts. Gets to the Kane. Miss dribbles. Brings it in. Gives out the... There we go. Now we're good. The cut to Jordan. Nothing there. It's going to be stolen away. King's going to try to track it down and does. Puts a fork in it and comes up with it. Gets it to the wax up and gets hammered. It's going to be fouled. It's going to be... Mateo Jordan's going to pick up his third foul. And he'll go to the bench. Checking in at a couple subs. Number two, Moses West. And 32, Preston Brunton. Lampkins looking to inbound the ball. Gets to Cottingham. Missed dribbled. King thought about the three. Gets to Cottingham. He's going to look inside. Gets to the, Luke is going to take the six foot shot. No, he. Dumps it to Jamar for two points. Nice pass. Nice team ball. That's why Luke gets a lot of assists. The high loaded Jamar is always there. The dribble drive. Bump. Miss. Gets to the wax out. He's just going to try to set it up, but nobody comes to help him. Finally, Andrew does. Luke is going to look at it. Pump fakes. Dribble drive. Shot on the way. No good. He'll be fouled. He should go to the line for two shots. So Luke Wax have to line for two shots. Following 42 Hansen is going to be his third foul. So the fouls are starting to mount up, add up for the Mustangs, where they're going to have to go deep into their bench. First free throw attempt is good. Looks like they're going to let Hansen ride with 543 left in the third quarter with three fouls. And Luke hits both free throws. Pass. The dribble drive. 
Off balance, pump fakes, nothing there. Thought about resetting it, but didn't try to take on Andrew, nothing. Resets. West up top. Passes it over to Brunton. Swing to Kane to give in the go. Not there. Foul. Out of bounds, it'll be Lampkin ball. Good thought, bad execution, turnover. Corner gets it over to King. It's going to find Cottingham up top. Working it around. Gets Jamar in the corner. Over to Luke. He might shoot that. No, pass it up. Gets it to Cottingham. Back to Wags. He's going to take. She go right at that guy. He's got three fouls. Instead, takes a three point shot. It's going to be no good. He's going to come in. He's going to get the call for over the back. Foul Luke Wags out. Mountain range ball. 4.48 till the end of the third quarter. Helsel checks into the game. Mountain Rings ringing the ball up. Trying to find a way to attack this man to man pressure. Brunton has the ball. He's a six foot three freshman. He's a good looking freshman for varsity level. He's got a bright future. Also, is going to take a deep three point. He's going to miss, but Tamar's going to get the rebound. Hands off the wide side. Three on two. Two points in the corner. Doesn't get too much easier than that. And we have a timeout on the floor. Oh, we got a foul. They called. I don't know who they called the foul. They called on number two. Called on Jace King. He picked up the second foul. I'm not sure what he did. He may be able to somebody. So Nikki McGuire checks in for Jace. Uniform adjustment over there by number five. I think it's number five. Phil and Jonas. Hill, the unique name. Brunton tries this three point shot attempt, it's going to be on the way and buries it. Nikki brings it up, looking to probe, gets it over to Jamar. Down to Luke, he's going to have an easy two foot shot. Two points, Lampkins. Just like that, the Lampkins get two points on the board. Three and a half left in the quarter. The pass, the block, out of bounds. They're going to call a foul on Luke, and he's going to go to the bench because I think that's going to be his third foul. Let me update the score here. Of course, Luke doesn't agree, but he's never made a foul in his life. Or never committed a foul. Either way, 24. Calabrese is going to go to the line for two shots. That's only Luke's second foul. I thought it was his third. So he's good. First shot on the way is good. It rattles at home. Second free throw attempt on the way in. Good as well. Pass over to Cottingham. He's going to dribble drive. Gets it on the wax tap. Gets fouled, double pump, makes it. So they're going to rely on Luke here. He's got a mismatch down low. And his points are going to start adding up. Good defense by Andrew. Over to 11, he's looking down low. Can't find his man. Working it around. Thought about the deep shot. Brunton looks for... He does 12 moves, but nothing. Cunningham, it's a walk. He took too many steps. Good defense by Kamara. Slip in the game. 
Chasing. The chicken for Andrew Corner. Passing the wax step, he's gonna have an easy two point. He, gets, he got fouled. Maneuvers his way, two more points. They can't guard him down there. He's too big and too strong, and they can't guard him at all. It's like taking candy from a baby at this point. The drive, the shot, the foul. Jamar Mitchell with the foul, his second. Van's going to run right in front of my camera. Philip Racy to the line. His first free throw is good. This guy's a pretty good free throw shooter. Two eleven left in the quarter. Two eleven left until the third quarter ends. Second free throw attempt is good. And then we got a foul. Run picked up a foul, trying to guard Luke Wagstaff. So Lampkins are joining a 21 point lead, nearing the end of the third quarter. King's going to inbound it to Wagstaff. Thought about it. Gets it to Cottingham. Or is it to King? Or is it to Lamar? This is going up. Ten foot shot is good. Mar Mitchell gets on the board. His fifth point in the second half. It's a drive. Dumped to the Calabrese. He's going to try to body bat Wagstaff, but thinks it's better against it. West takes the dribble drive. He traveled, but they're going to call it on Jays. It's going to be his third foul. So Jace King with this third foul. Luke Wagstaff over on the bench. Looks like he's ready to pass out. Trying to get his breath there in this free throw. Tipped on the way is going to be good for West. Luke checks out of the game for a breather. He wasn't looking so good over there. Caden Elmore checks in for him. Jace has three, but they're going to let him play. 132 left until the end of the third quarter. Second free throw attempt on the way is no good. He to Jamar Mitchell. He's going to bring it up by himself. May take this all the way. Nope, dumps it off the king. The wild shot. The roll. The George Griffin figure roll. Sweet move, Jamar, or Jace King. Cottingham bodies him. He's going to pick up his third foul. Lampkins are finding themselves in a bit of foul trouble here all of a sudden. Bit of a touch. It's going to send mountain range to the line for a one and one. 17 foul for the Lampkins already in the. with a minute 12 left in the third quarter, so the Lampkins are getting ticky tack fouls. Free throw attempt to short. Get to Nikki, who is fouled by number two. It'll be Lampkin Ball. So that's Wes, his first foul. Inbound the King. He's going to bring it up against a little bit of pressure. He's going to try to trap. Gets over to Andrew. Nikki in the corner. Looks for Jamar. Works it around to Jace. Over to, and we got a foul. A lot of fouls here in the last 45 seconds or so. So that'll put Lampkins in line for one and one. Chase King will be the beneficiary of the foul and the chance for a couple free throws. First free throw attempt on the way is good. 
King is a solid free throw shooter. Gets the Lambkins to 60. Really don't think that Mountain Range gets to 60 tonight. Second attempt is good as well. Sweet stroke by Jace King. Entry pass. Down to the big man. Trying for a give and go. Not there. West is trying to find somebody to pass to, but King had locked up pretty good. 35 seconds until the end of the hook order. 35 seconds. The dribble drive to spin. The shot is on the way and it's going to fall. Two points. Pinky blows by him. Gets it over to Jace. Shot's on the way. No good. Rebound to Mari. He's going to take it up. He got fouled, but he didn't get called. The run's going to go to mound range. 14 seconds until the end of the quarter. Shot from the corner for three is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Caden Elmore. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jamar takes the coast to coast, and it goes right at the buzzer. Jamar had a full hit in steam. There's no way he was passing that one. So let's update the score. At the end of three is going to be your four counts Lampkin 63 Mountain Range Mustangs 37 you're watching the Lampkin Sports Network So it's the three quarters of unofficial stats we have. Luke Wex have a 20 points, Kamarda Mitchell with 18, Jace King with 11, Andrew Corner with 9, Joe Conaghan with 4. Wex that brings it up. You're in my camera. Couldn't see that. Hey. You're in my camera. to get these nice head legs out of the way. They're standing in my camera view. Sorry about that. Shot on the way is no good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. Stolen. Bad in, uh, pass. Jamar gets it. He throws an elbow. That could be a flagger. They're going to call it a mountain range. I think they're going to get Jamar for that one. So the Lampkins are up. 28 points. Start of the fourth quarter and they got their starters in. Like I said, I'm not sure that Mount Range gets to 60, let alone 65 tonight. At some point, he's going to call up the dogs, but I don't know when. Mars first free throw attempt is no good. Luke is going to go over the back and pick up a cheap foul. That's going to be his third foul. Could be one and one going the other way. 7:22 left in the game. So Hanson's going to go to the line for a one and one 18 fouls apiece, so almost getting to a double bonus territory for both teams. No good is a free throw, but rebound the other corner. He's going to bring it up. There's a little bit of pressure. Wagstaff brings it. Hands off to Cottingham. Back to Wagstaff. Looking to cross-court pass. The paratrooper club joining. Andrew gets his own rebound. Jamar, this is going up. Two points to Jamar Mitchell. If he gets it that deep, there's no reason to pass the ball. Best in the hands, and he's going to try to take flag step on one on one, doesn't. Three point shot attempts another way, good. 21. 
Julian Kane with the three point basket. Martin's going to take this guy on. Passes to King. He shoots from eight feet. He's going to get the roll to Zohe and Suki swing for him. We'll get the scoreboard updated here in just a second. It's 69 to 40. Drive the shot to foul. So Joe Cottingham picked up his third foul. Number one, Eric Dillette is on the line for two shots. First one goes. Plus there are subs in for both teams. So Cottingham and King are going to take the seat. The first time all night, we got five seniors on the floor for the Lampkin. So nice gesture by Coach Dick to get all five seniors on the floor, at least for a little while. Second freeze attempt is no good and rebound in the corner. It helps you up 28 points too, but Andrew with the drive. Takes it all the way. He's going to take two point shots. It's going to go in and out. No good. Jamar tries to save it. Gets it to Andrew. So the, Jamar has it again. He's going to shoot from six feet. No good. Rebound's going to go to Wagstaff. He'll just can't make that either. Fouled. Still can't make it. Lit on the basket. Luke Wax left in line for two shots. Five fifty two left in the game. Five fifty two. So Wax has first free throw attempt is on the way in short. Luke is winded severely tonight. He has no legs right now. Let's see if he can muster up some mid gumption here and pour this one in. I don't know if he's sick or just overextending himself on senior night, but he's lumbering a little bit tonight. But still having one hell of a ball game. Let's not just make any mistakes there. The dribble drive trying to take it on Mr. Guzman. He gets elbowed in the face, but they call a foul on him. And Alex took a shot, looks like right to the mouth, and they're going to get him for the foul. Doesn't seem fair, but it is what it is. Free throw attempt is on the way and good. Scoreboard is finally correct. We have a timeout on the floor. So with five. 534 left in the game. Lampkins is joining the 26 point cushion. thought Alex got elbowed and took the punishment to no benefit for the Lampkins, but they called the offensive foul. Pastor Jamar is looking underneath the Luke. He's got him. Then we got a foul on number 24, Calabrese. Wax is going to go to the line for two shots. Third, team, third foul for Calabrese. Both teams in the double bonus now. So two shots on every foul on the way out, unless it's a player control foul. Which if you don't know what a player control foul is, that's okay. It's science. Wax has first free throw goes. Second attempt on the way is going to be in and out. We're going to have a fight on the court. Technical foul is going to be called on Calabrese. See if he gets a calmer head to prevail. So 
So they got tangled up a little bit down there. A little bit of pushing and shoving, and we have a technical. Excuse me. A little bit of fireworks here. Both teams are going to call into the huddle to try to settle things down while the referees sort things out. So we have a technical foul on Calabrese. Lampkins are going to go to the line for two shots. As far as I can tell. Now I'm away from the action, so it's hard to see. I'm not sure what they're going to call. Well, maybe they called it double tech. One on Jamar, one on Calabrese. Offsetting penalties. Long range ball. The dribble. Looking underneath, nothing there. Cross court pass. Shot on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Nicky, but he got fouled. Nope, it hit the apparatus. It's going to be four Collins ball. Five minutes left in the quarter. Five minutes left. A couple subs coming in for the Lampkins. Nope, just one sub. Keaton Elmore is going to come in for Luke Wagstaff. Luke's night might be done. Guzman brings it up, takes on double team, gives it over to Nicky. Pass to Alex. Three point shot attempt on the way is going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Jamar. No. Hanson. And Mount Range goes the other way. Nineteen foot shot is drained. That's a two point shot. His foot was on the line. Pretty good looking shot though. Guzman pushes. Looking for help. Gets it to Nikki. Gets over to Jamar. Setting up shop. Gonna try to take this guy one on one. Sides against it. To Nick. Looks to Alex. A little bit of a high pass. Over to Caden. He's gonna hand off to Alex. Tries to pass. Gets it blocked. Jamar recovers. And we have a foul. Let me update the score. Jamar Mitchell to the line for two shots. First free throw attempt on the way is good. Chase King in the lineup for Andrew Corner. Andrew's night might be done. Tomorrow's second free throw attempt is on the way in. Good. And Jamar's going to take a seat. So Jamar's night is likely finished with a solid effort. Bunch of points. Solid play. Good senior night for him. Jordan with the pass. Brendan with the fake. Nikki with the rebound. He's going to go the other way in a hurry. Gets it to Cottingham. Back to Nikki. Over to Alex. He's going to take the five footer. No good. Rebound's going to go to Caden. Tip back in. Tip in. Two points, Caden Elmore. Stolen to Jay is a little bit too strong. Gives it back to Nikki. The floater, no good. Rebound mountain range. The drive, the foul. It's getting a little crazy out here now. Getting a little hectic. Good effort by both teams. So to the line for two shots is going to be number 22, Mateo Jordan. First shot attempt is going to be good. Let's 
So out of the ball game for Lampkins, number one, Nicky McGuire, number three, Alex Guzman, and dinner nights are likely done as we have a full contingent of subs in with 3.12 left in the quarter. Lampkins is doing a solid lead at this point. So kind of a sneak preview of what next year may look like for the Lampkins. Trey Young in the corner, nothing there. Jason King's going to pull up from 17 feet. It's going to be no good. Rebound's going to go to Elbar. He's out to give it to Marco. Hands off to Cunningham. Nothing there. DeMarco is dribble drive. He gets a puck. Right into the hands of Cunningham, or King. No good. Rebound mountain range. Me, I'm missing a point for mountain range, so I'll update here in a second. West with the drive, the shot, then it's not going to go, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back in. King brings it up, looks over to DeMarco. Passes to Cunningham. The drive, the hang, the shot, two points to Cunningham. Smooth. Two oh five left till at the end of the game. Two oh five left in the game. The pump fake. The plus over pump fakes and he drains it from fifteen feet. So to let with two points. Cottingham takes it on the block. Passes outside. Tomarco with the drive. Takes the shot. No foul. Mount range going the other way. The alley oop, I missed it. So it's trying to update the score. My bad. Trey Young gets fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. 124 left in the game. So Trey to the line. First free throw attempt is going to be good. Mr. Young is in the scorer's book. Nice looking shooter, this guy. Second free throw attempt is nothing but that. This on the floor for a substitution. Get that point on the board for Mr. Trey Young, and we're rolling. Jordan trying to take on King, doesn't. Off to Marco, it's going to stay right here with Mountain West, or Mountain West, Mountain Range. Entry pass. Nice move by this guy. Mateo Jordan with the smooth move. Two points for him. Cottingham looking underneath the Caden net there. Takes it himself. Slam, bam, jam. Joe Cottingham with the impressive dunk in traffic. That's how you do it. Got a step. Slams it home. The leap sir. That ignites the crowd a little bit. The bench got his... The bench got themselves a treat. Impressive athleticism for that young man. Made up for the missed dunk earlier. Good for him. So we have 44 seconds left in the game. Quincy Helsel to the line for two shots. First one goes. Second shot is good as well. Give them range credit. They didn't have a great game tonight, but they can make some free throws. Pass the side of Jace King for two points. Jordan in line for two points and foul. Oh. So let me update the score. Case King picks up his score foul. Jordan 
Jones. Free throw attempt is no good. It's going to be rebounded by DeMarco. 25 seconds left in the game. Lincoln's keep pressing. Putting the penalty mail. It's stolen. Jordan. Layup. Two more points. 14 seconds left. This game's over. They're just going to dribble it out. Two, one, ball game. So there you have it, folks, on senior night at the Lamb Shack. Four, four Collins Lampkins, 83. Mountain Range Mustang, before we end the game. I'm not sure how official these are, but leading the way for the Lampkins tonight is Luke Waxup with 24 points. Jamar Mitchell, 22 points. Jace King with 16. Andrew Corner had 9 points. Joe Cunningham had 6. Keaton Elmore had 2. And Trey Young had 2 points to complete the scoring for the Lampkins. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. If you like what you hear, subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can get some better graphics and all that good stuff. So, from the Lamb Shack, the Lamb Kids are victorious, putting their tenth in the row, taking down Mount Rain, 83-62. You've been watching the Lamb Kids Sports Network in association with Nighthawk Burgundy Productions. Over and out, and have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Next broadcast will be Tuesday night. The Lampkins go down the horizon and take on whatever their mascot thing is. So we'll have that by next week. So anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Have a great night. Over and out.